Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Been a very eventful day. I uh, was driving along, went to go get some food for my kids for breakfast. Ran over something. Tire popped. So I did what anybody with a Challenger would do. And pulled this thing out. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on that coming up. Stay tuned. So if you have a Challenger or Charger or Dodge product and they didn't give you the spare tire or a spare, even a Kano spare, they gave you this beautiful machine. It's a little air pump and it also has fix-a-flat in here. And this tube here is for the fix-a-flat. And on the other side, there's a tube here for your air. And this thing works great just as an air pump if you push down turn it this way let me get over here a little bit push down and turn it this way boom there's your air pump if it's in the middle if you push down and turn it this way and hit the power button it's supposed to make the fix a flat go through this tube and into your tire uh, when I was stuck on the side of the road about an hour ago I did exactly that and I watched the video on Dodge's website to make sure that I didn't miss anything it does absolutely nothing the fix a flat would not go into the tire whatsoever, um, which is probably a good thing. I hate putting that stuff in tires, but when you're in a pinch and you have to get somewhere, uh, you know, it's better than not having anything. But this was absolutely useless to me today. Uh, just one of those things I want to make sure you guys know if you're counting on this to be your spare tire, it's not going to help you out too well. Um, I don't even know what happened to my actual tire. Let's go take a look. I was just driving down the road and I heard boom and psst, the beautiful sound. Well, if you look here, it honestly looks like it just exploded. And I took it to the tire shop, as you can see, and they're like, oh, well, we can't repair it, which I understand. And I actually bought these from Big O Tires and they wouldn't replace it they wouldn't do anything for me they wouldn't work with me on it and they wanted to charge me more than what i originally paid for the tires even though they had all that in their system when he, i first pulled the tire out of the trunk the guy told me that oh it looks like they need to be changed anyway they're running out of tread that is not running out of tread these things were i purchased them in uh, let's see, it was November last year, October? I think it was October, because shortly after I bought it, I bought it in August, bought the car in August. October, I put tires on it, and he's telling me I needed new ones. So, shyster. Um, I used to manage a tire shop, so I'm pretty familiar with um, some of the tactics that slime balls do. So, um, yeah, I was pretty frustrated with that. I'm going to switch over to Mickey Thompson's, just because after that experience, yeah, I'm good. I went ahead and uh, ordered them from Tire Rack. They should be here, and uh, I'll have them put on by another tire shop besides Big O. But, um, yeah, just one of those things. It was really frustrating when you're stuck on the side of the road, and all you have is this wonderful piece of plastic that makes noise and doesn't do a dang thing. So do yourself a favor and either get an Econo spare or um, have roadside assistance, or in my case, I was luckily able to have my wife throw the jack in the car and since as you guys know I took off my Nexons and put them on a different set of wheels luckily she was able to throw one in the back of the truck and come and save me on the side of the road luckily she was able to pick up the jack it's about 60 pounds I got a, a beefy one there so for the next uh, I don't know a couple days I guess I'll be driving around on some drag radials to daily drive to work and back. Not exactly the ideal thing, but um, like I said, I couldn't count on that stupid little pump to do anything for me. So it is what it is. And uh, once I come in, I'll go ahead and toss them on the car and uh, let you guys know what I think. I don't know if you have, uh, if many of you are on my Instagram, I have uh, my destroyer 1320 on Instagram. And I usually post uh, clips and stuff that you will not get on the YouTube channel. So. 
just a little heads up on that. And I also do have a Facebook page, which is my Destroyer 1320. Anyway, that's the end of my rant. I just wanted to let you know, uh, yeah, don't trust this thing. You're driving around, you get stuck, something happens, that thing is going to let you down. So I uh, hope you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll take, see you next time. Thanks, guys. Coming out of the store, check this out. This is awesome. Destroyer Gray Hellcat. And the younger brother with the different wheels because it popped the tire. Check that out. That is awesome. Mean, mean, mean. I wanted to see how much different the front ends are. Really the spoiler is the main, main difference, but look at that for a group of bad boys.